feather bracken by the load, and they seem not to break, though once they are bowed, so low for long, they never right themselves. Okay, now now he's kind of loathing. You know, you know, even um, you know, as as the birches mature, and even when the ice melts, the, the limbs still remain uh, that bent. Okay? So it's like a double meaning. The melting of the ice, in one sense, can be a re-emerging of youth. But in reality, the melting of the ice doesn't right up the branches. The branches will still remain down. Uh, we had an ice storm. I, I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. That's where I'm from originally. From the south. Are you from the south, too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm from Memphis, Tennessee. We had a, the ice storm of 1993. And and we had, you know what I'm talking about? The ice storm in 1993, and we had um, pine trees, and they were bent. They looked beautiful, I and mean, they were covered in ice, but they were bent over, and after the ice melted, the trees were still bent, and they had to be cut down. This is what Robert Foss is talking about. Even you know, as a result of life's troubles and everything, the ice, even after it melts, you die, because even though the problems will go away, what happens? You die as a result of the problem, right? All right, and it says, so low for long, they never right themselves. You may see their trunks arching in the woods years afterwards, trailing their leaves on the ground like girls on hands and knees that throw their hair before them over their heads to dry in the sun. But as I was going to say when truth broke in, with all her matter of effect about the ice storm, I should prefer to have some boy bend them. What does that mean? I should uh, uh, prefer some boy to bend the limbs, the, the trees, instead of the ice. The ice represents the problems. The boy represents the inner youth, the drive. So he's saying he would rather have um, the inner uh, youth and drive and the inner child bend the, bend the limbs? What, is that, what does that imply? Does that, does that, does that imply it's like um, they will send the kids in the van to be met on? Um, okay, yeah, actually, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. But I think what it means, because this is, these are difficult poems, <laughs> but every living thing has problems. Mm -hmm. Even children have problems. Problems like I mean, a problem may be like you like a child may lose a toy mm -hmm. and look around and try to find a toy and may cry because mm -hmm. can't find the toy. Mm -hmm. But even that, but that's a big problem for the child. Yes, it but it's not really as big a problem as a person who's told that you have pancreatic cancer and you got two weeks to live. <laughs> so I think Robert Frost is saying I would rather have, have that kind of problem of a child mm -hmm. than have the problem of an adult. All right. Even though in the eyes of the child it's pretty bad, mm -hmm. but what happens? But if a child has a problem like a little minor problem like that, there's somebody there to take, to take care of that problem. There's not when you're an adult. There's not always somebody there to take care of it. In fact, the odds are the older you get, the chances are it's not. All right, and, and not just medical problems. I mean. You know, if you if you break up with your sweetheart after ten years, you can't call your mom. Your mom would be like, "No, it's all right, baby. I'll bring her back to you." You know, here she is. It's okay now. It don't work like that. You know? But if a child, you know, can't lost a toy, what's the parent going to do? Buy a, Buy a new toy, and the and the child, hopefully, the child will be happy with the new toy, right? Okay. All right. Okay. So. But I, but I was going to say, but as I was going to say, when truth broke in, with all her matter of fact about the ice storm, I should prefer to have some boy bend them. As he went out and in to fetch the cows, some boy too far from town to learn baseball, whose only play was what he found himself, summer or winter, and could play alone. One by one, he subdued his father's trees by riding them down over and over again until he took the stiffness out of them. What does that mean? One by one he subdued his father's trees 
by writing them down over and over again until he took the stiffness out of them. Yeah. All right? Well, this yeah. is what I've got from there. Okay. I was reading last night. So now, if you notice after this um, portion, the next portion, he fell. Okay. So, now, since he subdued, I mean, subdued could represent you taking control of life. You, 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 you have everything. You think you reach, you think you, you settle. You, you think everything is under control. Yeah. But, um, part of the sudden, the next, uh, the next uh, reading here says that he slept before he knew it, he was down. So, that's life. Yeah. You know, we, we, we kind of like seem to struggle and sometimes we see ourselves, you know, as self, as self in things and, you know, moving forward, but little things will happen and then before we know it, we have some problems and we have some issues and we see ourselves down out there. You may have the money, but you don't have enough fees and you may have the money, but you have cancer or something yeah. that would knock you down. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I, think that's a good, I think that's a good interpretation, man. Yeah, until he took the sickness out of them, and not one but hung limp, and not one was left for him to conquer. He learned all there was to learn about not launching out too soon, and so not carrying the tree away clear to the ground. He always kept his poise to the top branches, climbing carefully with the same pains you used to fill a cup up to the brim, and even above the brim, then he swung outward, feet first, with a swish, kicking his way down through the air to the ground, so I was once myself a swinger of birches. What does that mean? So I was once myself a swinger of birches. Is he old? Is he the old guy? Yeah. Now we're, now, we're, now we're talking about his old age. Now we're talking about age. Yeah. Age. We're talking about age now. Trans. They're talking about the maturation process. He's saying so. Was so, so was I once myself a swinger of birches, and so I dream of going back to be a swinger of birches. Because when you're old, mm -hmm. you can't swing on the problems no, of life. You just let it be. And you, you just let it be, right? You let it be the it's when I'm old already. Yeah. <laughs> it's when I'm weary of considerations and life is too much mm -hmm. like a pathless wood. When you when your face burns and tickles with the cobwebs, broken across it and one eye is weeping from the twigs having lashed across it open, mm -hmm. I'd like to get away from earth a while. And then come back to it and begin over. He wants it back. He wants it back. He said he wants it back. He wants it back. May no faith willfully understand me. What does that mean? Will no faith uh, willfully understand me? What's faith? Well, kind of, you can refer to our question to that old man or whatever. Like you say, you think you wish for bar and bar happened to you. Yeah. So he's saying that, well, you don't want some, some bar ears to hear that and take him away. Yeah. Ultimately, he's saying, may no faith willfully misunderstand me. Faith, uh, ultimately, faith leads to death. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't want faith to willfully misunderstand me. Mm -hmm. Because death, you know, I, I mean, he's saying, don't, don't misunderstand me. I want life. Not only do I want to live, I want to live as I was from the beginning. So don't misunderstand me, death. But, but death doesn't care. It doesn't understand or misunderstand. It acts. It acts, it takes, right? And hath grant what I wish and snatch me away, not to return. Earth's the right er, earth's the right place for love. I don't know where it's likely to go better. He's really pleading, it's like he's pleading with with the forces that be, with, with the inevitable that look, you know, I you know, you know, I appreciate life on earth. I don't want to go nowhere. You know, I don't want I don't want to go no I don't want to go anywhere, right? You know, I, I don't know where it's likely to go better. better like right. the Sam Cooke song, mm -hmm. you know, it's been too hard living, but I'm afraid to die because I don't know what's up there beyond the sky. Absolutely. So it's hard living, but I don't want to die because, you know, I may have faith, I may be a Christian, mm -hmm. but I don't know oh, what's better yeah, I don't know. beyond the sky. So it's this dichotomy. It's like, you know, you know, life is hard. Sometimes I wish I could just 
you know, go to heaven or, or go back. Like, like, I mean, recently I've been going through, you know, you know, I have, you know, I got these degrees and everything, but you know what? I'd rather, I'd rather be in kindergarten <laughs> sometimes or just, or just be able to eat pizza and tacos every day. But you can't do that. I'm 35. I can't, I can't eat pizza and tacos every day. I'll turn into a pizza and taco and you guys won't see me no more. <laughs> right? Okay. So that's what we're talking about. So I don't know where it's likely to go to better. I like to go by climbing a birch tree and climb back, well, I'm sorry, and climb black branches up a snow white trunk. All right, now he's using colors. Because a child sees in what? Black and white. white. But adults, we see all kind of shades of gray. All right, we see shades of gray. The child sees black and white. All right, and there's, and, 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 and ignorance is bliss. You guys have heard that statement. Ignorance is bliss. And when you can see only black and white, there's um, a uh, lack of hindrance of even more complexities because there's no shades of gray. When you're an adult, there's shades of gray, okay? You get a job, you get money, but there are con contingencies. There's shades of gray. You could lose the job, but you can't, but it's not wise to stress about losing a job every day because that'll drive you crazy. So you got to have faith that everything will work out. You do what you have to do, and they won't come and say we got to let you go for whatever reason. And because because so you have to think about that. All right, if you don't have a job, there are shades of gray. You could get on unemployment. You can get on welfare, and still look for a job. But there's no grant guarantee that you can remain on unemployment or welfare while you look for work. There's no guarantee that you'll find work. While in good time, while you're on welfare or whatever, you get married, okay? You exchange vows. There are shades of gray. There's no black and white. I mean, a child may see you married 50 years. You and your wife, three kids, 12 grandchildren, happily ever after. You both die at 95. Yay. No, shades of gray. Something may happen. Something may happen to one of, you know, I don't want to get into it. It's depressing. But it's reality. That's what Frost is talking about. And climb black branches of a snow white trunk. Okay? So the black branches, the black represents the black and white that the child sees uh, up to the snow white trunk. Again, the snow, the, the snow on the, the trunk represents the problem. Toward heaven till the tree comes bare no more, but dip this top and set me down again. That would be good, both going and coming back. One could do worse than be a slinger of birds. So that's a pretty good poem, huh? All right. Let's